Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is David. This is not my jungle. Did I do it okay? Yeah. <laughs> I did. <laughs> this is car. <laughs> Whatever. I just didn't know where you were going from yeah, there. Yeah, so I wasn't like, sure yeah. either. I have anyway. squirrels. <laughs> no, Hi. Hi. Hi, fam. I'm Jacqueline. Yeah. Um, this is David. Yes, if case, you are new here. You can, yeah. We can do the intro, but in like a different way. Yeah, so... Um, hey, plant new here. If you are a fan, <laughs> this is David's jungle and not my Jacqueline car. If you want to see more of this nonsense, you guys should go follow our channel. I'll leave it linked above and it'll be in the description box below as well as the first comment yeah, pinned to the top. There's an abundance the of nonsense going on. Between, yeah. yeah, we filmed something funny last night. Anyway, we are at the Home Depot Woo! in Glastonbury. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening right now? Uh, it's the I've never been more attracted to you in my <laughs> life. Seriously. Anyway, yeah, so really we're yeah, we're at the Home Depot in <laughs> Glastonbury and we haven't been here in a while. I think we've only been here like once. Maybe, yeah, I don't really remember what it's like in there, so. I think it was like kind of oddly positioned if I'm remembering correctly. I don't know. Possibly. We've been to so many of them, I can't remember. Yeah. So this is stop one of like seven. Yeah, we're just gonna hit them all. So let's go see what they have. Okay, bye. I like how this one's like brick, it's cute. Oh, I just yeah. tripped over my own foot. That's fine. I've never done that before. <laughs> what are you used to that? Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> that can't be it. Keep <laughs> that happened to that thing. Okay, fam, so voiceover Jackie coming at you. We are at the Home Depot in Glastonbury, Connecticut, in case you missed it the other five times that I said it. It is almost Easter and spring has sprung, so there's lots and lots of beautiful flowers everywhere. Most of them I don't know the name of. Lots of cute spring decor. Those I know, those are hydrangeas. Those are really pretty. So over here we have some really healthy, happy looking anthuriums, these interesting hanging pots with the colorful bottoms over here. There's a red Maranta in this one, trying to find the price. I have been seeing these pop up. They are super cute. I don't know who makes them, but they are $29.98. Some Pilea right here couldn't find a price on these but I do enjoy when they come in their own little terracotta pots already cute little heart leaf philodendron some snake plants over there in similar colorful pots regular degular succulents and stuff going on over here I think this is some sort of peperomia looking super sad and then I found this enjoy pothos which is really cute in this little terracotta for only $5.98 so not mad about that i definitely would have bought that if i didn't already have one another hanging heart leaf philodendron here for 12.98 looking nice and happy and healthy can't go wrong with one of those some variegated elephant bush right here for 24.98 looking nice and happy as well until you bring it home and it drops all its leaves <laughs> they like really bright light so if you know how to keep it happy good for you boo but i can't figure it out these monsteras have been reduced to 40 dollars. i think they were 80 so that's like half off if you are looking for a really large monstera deliciosa even if they're not in the best condition you can still chop it up you will get some nice big leaves from that top growth some arrangements hanging out over here and then we're gonna check out their regular House plant stock so we've got some monstera deliciosas over here looking really beautiful 
some ZZ Ravens in these big Costa Farms pots for $50. And then over here, we've got the Vigoro brand. All of these are going to be $14.98. Some Golden Pothos, some Aglionema. And then we've got some Philodendron Golden Goddess hiding back here. I didn't see any variegation on any of these, but they're still really pretty regardless. Sometimes the Costa Farms ones have variegation. So, Alocasia Black Velvet over here. Definitely have been seeing these pop up as well. $19.98 on that one. Not a bad price for it. Wouldn't pay more than that. Shouldn't pay more than that, that's for sure, whether it's at a big box store or at a local nursery, the price on them has come way, way down. This is a green philodendron that I don't know the name of, but it's cute. Calathea over here. Again, these are all $14.98. This is um, Ficus Audrey. I think this one is $20. Another beautiful ficus teneki for the same price. You guys know I love ficus. They don't always love me back, but that does not stop me from buying them anyway. Some Monstera Deliciosa in this cute little woven basket for $29.98. There's a ficus altissima right here behind it in the same basket. And then this beautiful Calathea or Bifolia with these huge leaves have definitely been seeing these pop up in the big box stores as well Do not be afraid if you have been wanting to get one I have a video on my channel that I can link for you if you want to watch it on how I take care of mine Even though she's a thirsty thirsty hoe. So this is a beautiful um, I'm not sure red Congo Philodendron that I had David hold so you could see how big it was it's hard I can't get my arm far enough out of the frame sometimes to show you how big they really are beautiful Calathea down here don't know the variety some Dithambachia some ferns and then your run-of-the-mill assorted foliage from Costa Farms exotic angels you've got 698 for this purple passion the larger containers are 698 the smaller ones are 498 so all of these are going to be the same price depending on the size of the container. So you've got Syngonium, you've got lots of Ivy, you've got some Purple Waffle, you've got some Seiko Palms hiding down there for $14.98. And then over here I see some Trending Tropicals, so we're definitely going to check out what they have in stock here. This is the Peperomia Piccolo Banda really really cute love the contrast on those leaves if you are capable of keeping peperomias alive this is an aglionema that i don't know the name of some zz ravens fiddly figs these beautiful begonias that i always forget the name of as well if you guys know definitely let me know in the comments below drop me a timestamp so i know which plant you're talking about because i forget <laughs> 14.98 for this semi-alive strawberry begonia another begonia maculata down here for 20 bucks super cute not in the best condition but begonias are a lot easier than you guys think that they are so lots of care videos about that on my channel as well beautiful philodendron birkin hiding back there and then over here i saw some watermelon peperomias and these are trending tropicals with cute little pots with the wooden legs you guys finally something a little bit different they are $24.98 so they're five dollars more if you're into the wooden leg thing and then they have these calathea i think they call them network calatheas or calathea mosaica mosaic something along those lines so i actually just like the plain flat white pot over the the other one honestly even without the legs so some syngonium holly hiding down here this is a live trends pot these are usually about 15 okay 16.98 i was close and then we have another philodendron hanging out back here 
for $16.98 as well. I did spot this cute little crocodile fur and I was just trying to find the pot so I can show you guys the texture on these leaves. Super cute and more of an easygoing fern, also $16.98 on that one. All right, taking a walk towards the hanging baskets to see if they have anything good, but it looks like mostly just ivy and some ferns, some more strawberry begonias for $14.98, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Lots of different ivy, this neon pothos here for $12.98, looking okay in this hanging basket. And then this golden pothos in the same hanging basket for $12.98. So there are a few options. They have been slacking with the hanging baskets, in my opinion. I haven't seen anything exciting. I haven't seen Cebu Blues. I haven't seen very many Hoyas. Um, so I don't really know. Some Peperomias hanging out down there. More ferns. I want to know who buys all these ferns. Some weird colorful cacti over here, more trending tropicals, and yeah, that's, that's it for this section over here. I'm just going to show you some of these hydrangeas up close because I think the flowers are really beautiful and I like the way the colors show up on camera. I wish I could keep these, but they need really bright light. So. Checking out all the cacti and stuff going on over here. They had some good ones. I like those planters that have three in it. They're a really good value. I forget how much they are, but they're pretty cheap. Some Syngonium Berry Illusion over here. Some cute little Rex Begonias. And just some more regular, degular assorted foliage. You guys know how it goes. This ivy was pretty cute. And um, yeah. That's it. There's Petonia and more Syngoniums, some Philodendrons, Tradescantia, all this stuff. Lots of Begonias. Definitely see a lot of Begonia varieties if you are capable of keeping those alive. Good for you. Where to next, Chief? He played. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know. Manchester? Sure. Okay. Somewhere. They didn't have anything exciting. No, there was plants though. Some of them were alive. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them were oh, really oh, sad. <laughs> oh, <my> <laughs> that was very graceful. <laughs> okay. So, Home Depot in Manchester. Got lots of Haworthias for eight bucks. Don't need any of those. Um, well, they have a lot of stuff, so I guess that, oh, look. Baltic blue. We're not mad about it. This is the first time we've seen them locally, no? Did we see them? We haven't seen them anywhere else. I mean, they don't look great. There's two, yeah. These ferny fern things, yes, but I don't think we've seen them locally. Birkins, CZ Ravens, some fiddles. There's a Hoya species affinity Bertoni hanging right here for $14.98. Looking cute. There's a few of those laying around. This begonia, all these shining tropicals are $19.98. Got some begonia maculata. Some Calathea Dottie, I think, is what this one is called. Diphenbachia for 15, I believe. Oh, they have some of these Aglionemas um, that we don't know the name of. Yeah, 15. Some more ZZs hiding back here. Some Geogenanthus. Ciliatus hiding back here as well. Not looking super happy, but I mean, that's kind of like a thing that happens. Another Bertonier hanging out down here. It's pretty cold in here, so I don't know if the plants are very happy, but um, 
they're alive. So that's good. Bird's nest fern here for $14.98. All of these are $14.98. We just saw all of these at the last Home Depot, Home Depot, Aglionimas. This is the Silver Bay, Philodendron, Golden Goddess hanging out right here. And then these are the Exotic Angels. So you've got $4.98 for the smaller ones. You've got some Purple Passions and then 6.98 for the begonias. I'm laughing because everything is either so loud in here or like so quiet. You can never find an in-between apparently. So lots of begonias hanging out over here. Some pothos. This one I thought was interesting. They like mixed two begonias in this pot. They're both kind of dying, but that's fine. <laughs> Aglaonema Maria more begonias hanging out over here and even more assorted foliage honestly nothing kind of like out of the ordinary over here you've got all of your bonsais um, these are ficus for $12.98 and then you've got some lucky bamboo stuff along those lines some succulent arrangements $12.98 for this anthurium that the birds have been pooping all over. <laughs> They're really pretty though. The leaves, they have a bunch of them. More bonsais, some money trees hanging out over here. $12.98. There is a pineapple plant down here for 20 bucks probably. 24 and then there's watermelon peps over here for 20 bucks, 25, I lied. Magic again. <laughs> okay, so now we're at the Lowe's in Manchester, and there's copyright music again, and there's Baltic Blues again. Yeah. Well, I guess this is a thing now that we're doing. Holy crap, look at this leaf. It's huge. It's massive. Oh, look, they have Adansoni eyes too. Yeah. Adansonia. That's just damage, right? That's not variegation, no. Wouldn't that be funny, though? No. 
lots and lots of Adansonii. These are like the wrinkly leafed ones though, so they're not really my favorite. Pineapple plants, watermelon peps, more ZZs, and then lots of begonias over here as usual. Looking glass begonia. I need to check on mine in the self-watering pot and see if it's doing anything. And then over here we've got some cute little urban jungle plants. You've got this little fern for $15.98. You guys know I love these pots. These are cute too. These are these new? Yeah, these are urban jungle. These are new. These are cute. How much are you? $15.98 as well. I like this pot. I don't need that plant. Um, what are you? I don't know what this is. Some sort of Dracaena assorted foliage. Okay, that's a thing. And these are probably the same price. Nope, $13.98, a little bit cheaper. These are $24. Some ZZs, some Shaflera, another fern hanging out over here. More trending tropicals. These ferns that nobody really wants, probably. What are these even called? I always forget what they're called. Some pothos here. Some unknown ficus for $15.98. Oh, here's a white one. This is cute. I like the texture. I'm not mad about that. Some false aurelia in there. Some neon pothos looking sad. Some Hartley philodendron. Golden pothos, regular assortment of things going on here from Urban Jungle. Up here we've got some calatheas for $12.98. Don't know what kind this is. Um, doesn't say, just says calathea. Some dracaenas for $10.98. More of these Urban Jungle pots with some regular dracaenas going on in here. Nothing super exciting. Ferns, more philodendron, your usual hanging baskets, some syngoniums, whatever the heck this is. It looks dead. BB, oh, it's a peperomia, that's why it looks like that. Makes sense. I really wanna know who buys all the ivy and like why. I just have questions, that's all. Some purple waffle over here for $6.98, some more ivy. I mean, the variegated ones are cute. They have that minty variegated one now that I see every once in a while. That's definitely cute, but I mean, I'd probably still kill it or get spider mites, so I, I don't know. Just not really about that life. This one looks cute. Nice little hanging basket of regular green Hartley philodendron for $14.98. <laughs> David's over there relaxing. <laughs> He's cute. Um, they still have some of these for $12.98. More assorted foliage, some Fetonias, Croton, Pylea, Nothing exciting. There's a strawberry begonia up here. This one doesn't look bad at all. $14.98 on that. Some syngonium. Um, white butterfly. I don't know. Holly. Something along those lines. Let's see what's over here. More hanging pothos. Lots of these. Aglaonema reds. These are all $14.98 for these different Aglaonemas. They have this one that I still don't know the name of and this one that I always forget the name of but I have both of them and I think they're super cute. A lot of people warned me that um, these tend to be in those little plastic plugs so definitely check your plants when you get them home. Mine are still growing, so I haven't actually done that yet, but I probably should. More pothos. More and more pothos. Lots of aglionemas. I'm not mad about seeing newer varieties in the stores. I like aglionemas. I don't know if you guys do. Let me know in the comments below if you like aglionemas and what's your favorite aglionema in your collection. 
$14.98 for this pineapple plant. Some Diefenbachias for the same price here. Lots of ZZs and then we have some Sad. I think those are Chlorophytum. We've got some Dracaenas and then these Sago Palms that are not getting enough light. You can see they're getting discolored. They need very, very bright light. So they've probably been here for a while. More hanging Syngoniums over here. And I just noticed these massive peace lilies that we have to check out. Look at these. Ah, oh, they're so pretty, you guys. I want one. Look at these leaves. This is the stuff that's toxic out. This pollen that's coming off the bloom. See it? That powdery stuff. This is why I cut off all of my um, aeroid blooms because that stuff is super duper toxic especially for animals so it's philodendron that I always forget the name of over here let's see if it says splitly philodendron very descriptive for 1998 more bromeliads lots of these blooming bromeliads for 20 bucks more of these cute little guys. Oh, see, look, they have some dark ones. They just never look happy. Mine died. I think I just didn't water it enough, maybe. So that's a thing. Okay, so back here we have some more trending tropicals, more of the ferns and some peperomias that we've been seeing. A lot of more fiddly figs, more ZZ ravens. There is no shortage of those anywhere you go. And then I did spot some global green pothos hanging out in the corner back here, looking really happy and really healthy. And there's a bunch of them. So if you are in Manchester and you've been looking for the global green, then the Lowe's has them. Some Baltic blues hiding over here as well and this really really cute hanging neon pothos i think these are about 25 but don't quote me because i couldn't actually find the price on it but they're really cute with the terracotta in the little macrame these egg air plant things are weird and then they still have these um what are they called black gold snake plants something along those lines for $11 so I thought these little pots were cute little colorful like ombre pots for $7.98 cute for little baby Hoyas little baby succulents I'm always on the hunt for cute little cover pots for my baby Hoyas none of these are really colors that go with my decor but I do think they're really really cute so that is it i think for the home depot in manchester we're just checking out some of these cute little succulent pots and then we're gonna head over oh no we're at the lowe's this was the lowe's now we're going to the home depot okay okay <laughs> okay so that was the lowe's in manchester oh hello um, so I'm surprised, you guys. The Baltic Blues have finally landed right. at the big box stores in Connecticut that aren't just Walmarts, because we all know how somebody <laughs> in this car feels about Walmart. I'm not a huge fan either. Well, they just never open their garden center. Like, I don't want to walk through all of Walmart just to go to the garden center to see four dead plants. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, like, I'm sorry that I don't always have the motivation to go in there and do that. So, yeah, that was the Lowe's. I was pleased to see they had the Baltic Blues, they had some Adansonii's, and they had lots of Global Green Pothos hiding in the corner over there. So, you can always count on this Lowe's to have lots of trending tropicals. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm so not mad think. about that. Yeah, they do. They usually have a decent amount. So, Manchester is definitely... A location worth checking out there's also woodland gardens that we 
go to yeah, frequently like around here. Ten minutes away. So yeah. we're not going there today, but if you're in the area, that's definitely another stop that you can make if you feel like taking a trip out to Manchester. Mm. So I think there's a Walmart around here too, like right up yes. the road. Yeah, yeah. We're not going there though. No. We're going to Bloomfield. Bloomfield. Yes. So we're gonna check out that Lowe's. Put me on the spot. And then the Home Depot usually doesn't have much, but we haven't been there in a very long time. Yeah. So, so maybe they'll have less. Who knows? Yeah, we we'll we either catch them when they just got them and haven't killed them yet, or a few weeks later and they're all dead. <laughs> it's just so brown. Yeah. Let's go see if they're dead or alive. Okay, here we go. Okay. Lowe's. Uh-huh. Bloomfield. Boom. Boomfield. Let's do this. Okay. Plants. They're being watered <laughs> as we speak. Oh, these are cute. Oh man, there's copyright music. Ah. <laughs> okay, fam. So voiceover Jackie got confused, and now we are at the Lowe's in Bloomfield. Sorry if I confused you. I This voiceover thing is weird when you're doing it the next day. So anyway, a lot of the same stuff that we have been seeing, this cute little coffee plant over here is only $4.28. They have some false Aurelia. They've got lots of Dracaena. They have got lots of Croton plants, lots and lots of little baby Diefenbachias, Syngoniums, these beautiful silvery begonias. I really wish that I could keep a Rex begonia alive because these are stunning. $6.98 for the larger ones, $4.98 for the smaller ones in case you needed reminding. Tons and tons of hanging baskets of Syngonium and Golden Pothos. They're all usually around $20 to $25 each. Some really nice watermelon peperomias over here looking healthier than the rest that we've seen today. More ZZ Ravens in case, um, in case you needed more ZZ Ravens in your life. This Global Green was super cute. You could see that creamy leaf on there. That is definitely a thing that can happen if you give them bright enough light. So if you do get a chance to sift through a handful of these at your big box store, check for one that already has a vine that has some creamy variegation. Give it some bright light and you will get even more of that creamy variegation. So cute little Bonnie spider plant here in this hanging basket. For, I think it was either $15 or $16, something along those lines. We've got some Bird of Paradise plants right here looking beautiful, some Dracaenas, fiddle leaf figs, and then these philodendrons that I can never remember the name of. And I'm sorry, because they all kind of just look the same, and then when they mature, they look different, so I, I just, I get confused, so... More Aglionema Silver Bay hanging out over here with some red Aglionema. And then I spotted this other philodendron that I, I don't know if it's different from the other one or if it's just an immature form of it for $27.98 from Live Trends. I thought this was a really cute pot. I'm not going to lie to you. The pot attracted me more than the plant. So a little Syngonium, not Syngonium. I've been doing that a lot. Aglionema. Maria for $14.98, a little Baltic Blue hiding over here for $20, bucks, and then more of your Live Trends stuff going on down here. This fern is in the same pot, but this one is white, and it's really cute for $27.98. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes open on the clearance rack for a dead plant in that pot <laughs> so that I can get that pot. This is a new pot from Live Trends as well for the same price. And these cute little misters are only $10.98. I feel like they used to be much pricier than that when you would buy them in the nursery. $12.98 for these cute little hanging air plant thingies. The air plants usually die, I'm not going to lie to you, because they're glued in. But you do you, boo. They look pretty for a little while. So lots more Baltic Blues. You guys know shortage of Baltic Blues. We've even got some Monstera Adansonii hiding over here at the Lowe's in Bloomfield. 
lots of ferns, lots of money trees. We've got lots of spider plants hanging above us and then some assorted foliage. The um, woman who worked there is very sweet. She was watering some plants so I didn't want to get in her way but we've seen all of those already. $15.98 for this palm, lots of dracaenas, and then this is in the Maranta family, I think, but I always forget the name of it. I think they called it a peacock plant, but that's not the scientific name. It's really pretty either way, so lots more succulents over here. Nothing super exciting, just giving you a quick peek at what they have. Tons of aloe hanging out over here. And then I thought these arrangements were cute in the little fake bathtub. That one's a bicycle. So I always think the little pots are cute that the arrangements come in. And I mean, this little dog pot is adorable too. I just don't need any more succulents in my life. So we don't buy those. These pots were cute too for 20 bucks with the little wooden legs on them. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> This is a good angle. <laughs> that was Lowe's. That was Lowe's. Now we're going on the Home yell Depot. Then? Why are we I yelling? No, I'm the tired. Home Depot's I, get, next. I get weird when I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so they had all the same stuff again, which is good. Like if you're looking for a Baltic Blue and Adansonii. <laughs> Yeah, or um, a global green, you keep like talking, they have I'm them. Drive. Yeah, you, you drive, boo boo. They have them. So now we're going to the Home Depot that's literally like right there. Put on your, your seatbelt. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So okay. I'm just letting the people know. So do you think know. that the plants are going to be dead or alive? Uh, at the home, at this, the Bloomfield Home Depot? Yeah. I mean, if there are plants, they're dead. All right, I'm gonna go with a lot and we'll see there, who's right. I'm sure there's gonna be some that are still green. Okay, but like mostly. Mm. I gotta put my seatbelts out, I'm getting yelled at. You're gonna be only mostly dead. Oh my gosh, you're so dramatic. I'm doing it. <laughs> <sighs> okay. They're only mostly dead. So if it's like more than 50% though. No, no, I think more than 50% alive. Oh, well then I'll go with dead. But I'm going to say we're, we're going to see some plants that are dead. Okay. For sure. We'll see. Wait, Home Depot does clearance, right? No, Lowe's does. Lowe's does. No, I thought Home Depot did clearance. No, only sometimes if it's like their own brand. Aren't they if the it's ones third that... party? No, that's Lowe's. Cross out the things? Nope. Oh, I got them. Home Depot up. is the one I always complain. That they should do, do clearance. Okay. Because yeah. then they wouldn't have to throw out so many dead plants. If they were discounted, people will buy them before they got to the point where they were completely dead. You know what I mean? They wouldn't then, just be buying them to get their 12th Costa Farms. Oh you know, yes, we're all dying for those trending <laughs> drop of cool yeah. spots. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, look, it's so, another white hey, look. thing. And now we're at the Home Depot. Yeah, yeah. So it's kind of rainy and gross out, but it's okay. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> And it's almost snack time. I start getting hungry around it's like four or five o'clock and I need a snack. <laughs> I need my snack time or I get cranky. Okay. Does Snoopsie Poo need a treat? Yes. <laughs> we got Starbucks though. So that was good. Okay. See, like these ones aren't as creepy. Those like they're creepy. still really What's the matter with you? Those are creepy. <laughs> That was really loud. Okay, I've been trying to find one of the black ones, but they always look sad. I see them occasionally, and when I see one, I need one. So, some cute little plants in baskets over here for $34.98. Fiddle leaf figs, peace lilies, palms. And then, let's see what's back here. We haven't been here in a while. I'm out of breath, and I haven't even done anything. Whew, look at that cactus. It is actually kind of nice. Yeah, my cat would love to eat this. <laughs> it's a big snack. Yeah. So, we've got your Vigoro stuff, some rattlesnake calatheas. These are all 14. Um, Aglionema Maria. One that I don't have in my collection that I would like to get. 
These ferns are $19.98 hanging here. Some nice calatheas and copyright music. So we're gonna head to um, voiceover Jackie. Okay, voiceover Jackie is here. I don't know why I said it like that, but I felt like repeating it. <laughs> $9.98 for this calathea and this alocasia black velvet, more Baltic blue, more of a lot of the same plants that we've already been seeing today, which is like a good thing. At least you know if you go to your local big box store, you are likely to find a lot of these same plants. I know that it varies depending on what region you're in, but hopefully the northeast at least around the connecticut area is pretty consistent so if you have been looking for any of these plants now is the time to go and check it out so i was trying to dig out these weird little like h2o sprouts i think they call them this philodendron looks like really sad and somebody needs to love it but i was trying to get my hands on this alocasia which is looking even sadder <laughs> to be honest with you but if it was on clearance maybe i would have bought it so more hanging hartley philodendrons for 12.98 this money tree here is beautiful i love how they have it braided it's literally a tree and it's stunning for $39.98, I would definitely have one of those in my house if I had room for it. This really sad Calathea hanging out over here for $19.98. I don't know the name of that one, but it's got kind of like fuzzy leaves. Some more Birkins, more Monstera Deliciosa, more of those big Philodendron Congos, I think they are some sad alocasias this weird looking tetrasperma i mean if you're into it if that's something that's still difficult for you to find 29.98 they are at most nurseries this is the ficus ruby for 19.98 as well still looking for just the right one for myself more of these golden goddess philodendrons this beautiful ficus rubber tree absolutely stunning those are the easiest in my opinion if you're looking for a ficus that you can't kill and the tacky has beautiful variegation so that's always a plus as well this hanging basket for 12.98 of philodendron and then we found some syndapsis silvery Anne. I know it might be hard to tell the difference, but it's a silvery in in this pot for $29.98. We've got some red maranta. We've got some neon pothos hiding back there. There's some snake plants. There's some ferns, another birkin, and then just some more regular, regular assorted foliage hanging out down here. Not going to go through them all because we've literally seen all of them already today, so lots of baltic blue at this location as well which is surprising because they don't really always have a ton here so i think it's safe to say that most locations are getting the baltic blues in if you have not been seeing them yet because this is the first time that we are seeing them locally we've seen everything else not the squamiferums not yet if they are even still releasing those i have no idea but i have yet to see them for myself in person i have one here right next to me in the greenhouse that's from costa farms in those big 50 dollar pots that somebody gave me as a rescue mission but otherwise i have not actually seen one in the store for myself it's also just rescuing that peace lily that fell over so some really beautiful begonias hiding in here as well. More purple passion if you're looking for a pop of color in your plant collection. There are lots of syngoniums, thirsty plants if you like to water your plants often. That was a Pilea moon valley. More beautiful syngoniums. Running out of things to show you guys some beautiful hanging philodendrons. More peace lilies over here bird of paradise lots of zz's some big diefenbachia plants this huge palm tree was absolutely beautiful and then these pink plants down here are called cordyline i think if i'm not mistaken spotted this euphorbia 
hanging out back here for 20 bucks as well in this huge container. Definitely a big Euphorbia fan. These ones are $20 as well. And then I'm just gonna take a quick peek at what's over here. This corn plant was a really cute combo with this Pothos in this outdoor basket for $34. Would make a really nice porch plant if you have a porch. And then back here I spotted some more Syndapsis. This is the regular one. So if you wanna go back and look at the Silvery Ann that I just showed you, you can see the difference between them. They had some Pothos Enjoy. These are only $6, you guys. This Lemon Lime Maranta, let me tell you, I was very tempted to buy one, but your girl is trying so hard not to buy any common or unnecessary plants right now. So, <laughs> you know, you guys know the struggle is very, very real when you're going to six different big box stores in one day. So. Calathea Makoyana hanging out down there, and then that is it. So, who won? I mean, they didn't look great. I feel like... It was a tie. Maybe. <laughs> I love that it beeps while your Prius is backing up. Yeah, like this is a big old truck. Yeah, better... everybody watch out. <laughs> look out. Who gotta watch out for the... Prius that's smaller than all the other cars in this parking lot um yeah so that was the Home Depot in Bloomfield and now we are off to the Home Depot in West Hartford and that is going to be our sixth and final stop of the day technically seventh because we did actually go to Paul's and Sandy's this morning yes. but that is going to be in a different vlog because they didn't have anything new you guys are going to be seeing I'm going to post up a short and a reel on my Instagram. They'll be the same. So whether you're on Instagram or not, you'll see it of their Hoya selection currently. So that's kind of like the only thing you really need to know because everything else is the same from my last video. But I did just want to show you really quickly since you won't be seeing it until a few weeks from now, I picked up this Hoya. Can you guess what it is? I'm not going to tell you. Let me know in the comments below if you know what Hoya this is. Don't look at the tag, don't cheat. Don't be a cheater. <laughs> don't be like that. Nobody likes a cheater, okay? So, that's what I picked up at Paul's and Sandy's. Just felt like showing you guys and uh, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. gonna go to the next Home Depot. And we actually have to like buy things here because we're putting up the grow light in the greenhouse. And we need hardware and stuff for that to hang it and then um, is that all we're getting? We should get a loopy thing for the... A loopy thing? For the towel and the a hand, for the hand towels. Okay, we can look for loopy things. Because we forgot to get one in the last, the last vlog. Right. When we were home decor shopping, so. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Well, let's go to the next Home Depot. We're doing it. Okay. Home Depot. The Home Depot. We would just call it Home Depot, not the Home Depot. Yeah. Does it say something? West Hartford. No, it's the Home Depot. That's the name it's of the place. The it's always the. V. V or the. Welcome to the Home Depot. Thine Home Depot. <laughs> Thou at Home Depot. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fam. Let's stop. We're at the Home Depot in West Hartford, Connecticut. And this is one of my favorite locations when it comes to how beautiful it is. It's a really nice setup. The greenhouse itself is stunning. My only issue is that they don't really carry too much. So we're gonna go through really quick and see what they have anyway. Some nice pothos varieties hanging out over here for only $7.98. In these containers, if you're looking to get a nice big plant, you can definitely pick up two of those and pot them up in a nice hanging planter. They had some philodendron Brazil, which we have not seen yet today in this planter for $16.98, I believe, looking really nice and happy and healthy. Some peace lilies, some parlor palms over there to the right, and then Behind me, we have some cute little baskets over here 
for $21.98. This is a fiddle leaf fig. We've got some Monstera Deliciosa. We've got lots of ivy hanging out over here as well. Some more um, Monstera Adansonii. I think this is a different variety. This is the more flat leafed variety as opposed to the crinkly leaf one. If you're confused what I'm talking about, <laughs> I have a video all about it that I can try to remember to link for you, but I, I can't make any promises. Lots of hypoestes hanging out down here with all the beautiful different colors. I see some more hanging philodendrons, the Brazil philodendrons, these cute little snake plants for only $4.98. There's some crotons hiding over here, some palms, more pothos, lots and lots of chiflera. And then they had some hanging baskets of Adansonii over here. This is the variety that I have. Oop, I almost dropped the plant. That's fine. $17.98 for these. This is the one that I have that has the flatter, more velvety leaves. They're a little bit darker. They're not as wrinkly. And they do get bigger. So I don't know what specific subspecies it is, you guys know that, but I do know that there are many Adansonii subspecies, so if you have two Adansonii that look different, that is probably why. So lots of spider plants over here hanging out, and then I wanted to check out what they had on these carts over here, so I spotted some more little baskets of Brazil looking super cute $16.98 lots and lots of parlor palms but I was determined to move these things out of my way so I can see what was behind them they had this Vigoro set up over here so I was curious more Brazils more little baby philodendrons for $4.98 some fiddle leaf figs so nothing different than what we've been seeing already some anthuriums back here I did notice this flower was really pretty and that little leaf that was unfurling was absolutely stunning so now I'm gonna move this again so we can get to the other rack behind it that has this big huge snake plant in this basket here I wanted to check out this Dracaena though. This is the kiwi variety that I like that has that more neon stripe down the middle. I like the contrast of it. $26.98. So I would like to have one of those in my space one day. I think they're really pretty. This peace lily was absolutely stunning as well. You guys know how much I love these big Jurassic looking leaves. Would love to have those. One of those one day as well. But when the time is right. So, more Hartley philodendrons. I found this Stromanthe Trio Star hiding back here with this beautiful pink foliage for $19.98. Haven't seen any of these today either, so at least they have some different stuff. Another Calathea Makoyana over here looking better than the last place we were just at. More Stromanthe, some cute little baby Monstera Deliciosas. This massive Calathea, I don't know, medallion, rosy, dotty, whoever e, I don't, I can't keep up with the names. So, some more big Schifflera over here, some more parlor palms. If you are looking for a big plant, they definitely have them. And then I was curious about these rocks. They are glued together, in case you were wondering as well. This is a cute little bonsai for $37.98. Little money tree, cute little Dracaena over here for the same price. Love the little setup they've got going on. And then they had these big bonsais for $52.98. This one just had me laughing because it's got like one leg hanging out the pot. And this is a ficus, so... A lot of them are ficus, money trees, things like that when you see bonsai plants. So, some African violets over here. None of them are variegated for $10.98. So, 
the search always continues because the excitement of finding a variegated African violet for like five or six dollars is all too real to not always look at the African violets whenever I'm in the store. So some cute little Cal and Koei flowers over here. Love the different colors. Never mad at some indoor plants that will flower for you. And then just a bunch of floor plants over here. A lot of the same stuff that we've already been seeing. Another beautiful kiwi, Dracaena. These philodendrons were stunning as well. Look at these huge leaves. They're in really good shape too for $26.98. And then these bigger ones are $36.98 for this Monstera Deliciosa. And this other philodendron type that I don't know the name of. Xanadu, maybe? I don't know. Taking an educated guess. So over here before we go, I just wanted to check out some of the cute little cacti and stuff they got going on. This Euphorbia is weird as hell, but I'm into it. David has one of these. The spikes are like pink. I don't know. I'm not mad at it, just maybe don't touch it and you'll be fine. This one freaks me out because all that white fuzzy stuff looks like mealybugs and I'm slightly traumatized helping this guy out over here because somebody knocked him over. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Lots of different succulent arrangements and that is all we've got for the Home Depot in West Hartford. <laughs> so that was our day of plant shopping six different big box locations that was just West Hartford that we were in nothing exciting same stuff we've been seeing they did have those big hanging baskets of Adansonia like the one that I have mm -hmm. that are like the flatter more velvety ones but otherwise Nah. Nothing exciting. They had Stroman, this one, Trio Star. It's a nice like area, but they yeah. but they don't really get anything interesting. No, they don't get like trending tropicals right. or urban jungle or anything like that. They only have their own their own brand. Like Vigoro is exclusively a Home Depot brand. Yeah. So yeah. So that's that. But yeah. um I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with us today. Yeah. If you did, you know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. So you don't miss anything from, from me. me. <laughs> and then there's a join button right next to the subscribe button. Yeah, and do that. Make so sure you you're can, subscribed. You, so you I see 60% of you watching these videos are not subscribed. What are you doing? It doesn't hurt you. Just hit the subscribe button. It takes two seconds. Okay, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit longer than that. To make a Google account if you don't have one. They're not going to spy on you any more than they already are, I promise. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, check out the join button. Don't be afraid to click on it. See what your options are for perks. We have a members-only group chat. We're going to do some live streams for members-only. You get early access and discount codes to my Etsy shop. Lots of fun stuff coming in the future. Emojis that are exclusive to you. If you are a Plant Fan member, leave some crush your pants emojis and what which which other one i ain't mad at it <laughs> <laughs> i'm not mad about it i don't even know what it says it's something like that something yeah. along those lines regular degular regular degular is one show yeah. them what they can use in the comment section below if you watch this entire video and you're not a plant fan member leave me okay so my new favorite emoji right now has been the, the, the pinata there's a pinata there's a pinata it's like a llama or something, but it's like oh, rainbow like the, color. Yeah, 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 that one. <laughs> so yeah, right. leave me the pinata emoji if you watch this entire video. We appreciate you. Go buy his book. The link will be in the description and all that nonsense as well. Check out our channel. Yada yada. What am I forgetting? Am I forgetting anything in my spiel? I, don't I know. think That's I'm done with spiel. my spiel. So yeah. it's raining and I need Chick fil A. So <laughs> we're going to go get waffle fries and go home and yeah. do more plant chores. Okay. Yes. Love you, fam. We appreciate you and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. No, seriously, I need waffle fries. Like, I'm upset right now.